Good morning. Uh, today I'm talking about the differences between the 16, the Sergeant Greenleaf 6741 and Sergeant Greenleaf 6730, but not necessarily about function or anything else, but rather tolerances. So the 6740, they're both of the same series, but the 6741 has been manufactured to be a little bit cheaper, um, and that's due to uh, choices in materials. Um, you can see in the 6730, which is on this side, the 6740, which is on this side. Um, in the 6730, we have more brass components, um, whereas we don't have that as much in the 6740, which of course drives down cost. Um, also, just a few mechanical differences in using a tension washer versus their their um, uh, very fancy tension setup in the 6730. Um, so there uh, there are. Plenty of differences, but uh, as far as manipulation goes, at least between these two locks, I found it easier to manipulate the 6741, and it should come down to tolerances. So the 6741 is supposed to have looser tolerances. Well, I was curious where those tolerances were, so I started by measuring um, uh, the different pieces. I took them down and started measuring them. Now... I am not a mechanical engineer, and even while I was measuring them, I realized that they um, are not machined, but from the same uh, from the, the same the same machining equipment. So these are built a little bit differently than uh, than the 6741. So you know, if you want to take into account ratios and such, um, you know, I can I can see where a lot of that uh, could come into play. However, one of the things that I did notice uh, specifically was the fence. So on the fence, <clears throat> if we take a look at the fence for the 6741, we have kind of a rounded, it is a lot narrower and compared to the 6730, which is a lot thicker, or uh, the width is uh, quite a bit more. And interestingly, the gates of both the 6741 and the 6730 measured out to be the same. So right away, uh, one of the biggest differences is that if these gates are the same on the wheels, and this fence is narrower than this fence, then that means that's going to have looser tolerances. Um, something else that I noticed is that for the size of the levers, <clears throat> the nose on the 6741 is longer than the nose on the 6730. And I have noticed uh, when everything's put together that the nose on the 6741 does fit deeper into the, the the drive cam. And with that, even though it's just a little bit, it makes a big difference in manipulation because you can feel those contact points quite a bit easier than on the 6730 um, with this sitting in. And on this one, it just barely touches the edges of those contact points. Um, so I have a much tougher time trying to uh, manipulate the 6730 versus the 6741. And I have my longest uh, group two manipulation times in the 6730. Um, <clears throat> some other things that I noticed about the differences is that our, fly, or our, our flies are a little bit wider than the flies on the 67. 41. So our 6741 has thinner flies than the 6730, which would also add into tolerances. So these thicker flies should make tighter tolerances. Um, and, or the width, I should say, the width coming across here. These are thicker, but again, I think that's because these are machined a little bit different. And you can notice that even on the nose, or on the, the lever where the pin goes down, um, there's quite a bit of 
uh, difference. You know, less brass material here, more brass material here. These are all things that probably drive down the cost. Um, so before when I was thinking maybe they are the same uh, machine the same, just with different materials, just looking at the way that they are built and put together and the differences in the amount of materials, um, even the wheel thickness <clears throat> on the 6730 uh, is slightly uh, thicker than the 6741. Again, I imagine that that um, adds to cost reduction for the 6741. So um, I don't think it's the same machines that, that uh, crank these pieces out, um, or at least most of the pieces anyways. Um, washers, of course, will be the same, um, possibly even the plates for the, the wheels. Uh, but as far as the innards and what have you, it'd be a different machining process. Same thing with the nose, the drive cams, etc. However, the fact that the gates are the same width the fences here are not, and that our flies are different widths. Um, those, those, and the contact area here is actually different widths as well. Um, uh, all add into the tolerance and the ability to manipulate these um, easier, uh, or the ability to manipulate the 6741 um, fairly easier than the 6730. Um, I'm not saying that it's easy enough that, you know, you can go out and get it and manipulate it, manipulate it right away, but uh, that was an interesting exercise to go through. Um, I'll end up doing a full write-up on this on key picking, and I'll leave a link in the description below. And I would like to give a thank you to Martin Hewitt for all of the... I wouldn't say help, just the, the way that um, my thinking process evolves when it comes down to looking at these locks and thinking why and looking at the minute mechanical diff differences to determine, okay, what's the difference in this lock versus that lock or why would this lock be easier to manipulate than that lock? So uh, a definite thank you to Martin Hewitt out there. All right, that's all I have for today. Um, Hopefully some folks find this interesting. Uh, please let me know what you think. And by all means, ask any questions. And take care.